Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's 15-minute huddle. And I hope you guys are having a great midweek and you're getting ready for the rest of the week and you're doing well. So let's kick this off today. And one of the things I wrote today is, are you prepared? Are you prepared for a shift in the market? Are you prepared when things may change? And the question always is, Mike, how do we know if they're going to change? Is it predictable? Well, you can go back in history and look at certain things to determine if it's going to change or not and to see where some cycles are in the marketplace. And frankly, if you're in business, you should be caref carefully looking at these things as it relates to your particular industry. So that way you're on top of it and you're fully prepared for that opportunity that's or inevitable change that will come towards you. And also, yeah, the opportunity. So guys, here's the bottom line. Whether it's a flat market, a declining market, a growing market, the question always comes down to, are you prepared to keep ahead of that curve? And as I always tell my clients, you got to be ahead of the curve. If the, if the market is flat, let's say at, at 100, just as a, using a number as an example, you need to be at least 15, 10 to 15% ahead of that curve. If the market goes down to, let's say, 90, you're going to be ahead of the curve. If you go down to, you, your, your, your adjustment will go with the market, but you still need to be ahead of the markets at least by 10% within the framework of your particular business so you're never caught behind the eight ball. And oftentimes people go in this cycle and they work in the cycle. They don't work through the cycle. And it's a different factor whether if you're working through it, you're in control. If you're working in it, then you're at the whim of that market. So you got to be prepared for some of these things. So I'm going to keep it really simple today. And we'll get on with this so you can so you can get some foundational thoughts in place here in your mindset and in your business. Keeping in mind, guys, that successfully adjusting to the market in any sales business requires, at any level, a serious amount of discipline, structure, skill, strong worth ethic, a positive mindset, uh, the, the list goes on. And that's just to name a few of the characteristics and qualities for those who want to very much grow their businesses. And the most challenging part of adjusting to any markets that are changing rapidly, and they can flip on a coin in some cases, is understanding the various pieces of your business and understanding that change in behaviors will become necessary as markets shift. Your skills have to be learned and improved upon and uh, at the length of time it takes to always be prepared. And what's important is that we have to keep in front of this idea and if we're not clearly understanding of what's going to be uh, what we need to be uh, uh, prepared for sorry about the stumbling there but what we need to be pre be prepared for it is the hardest thing to accept and we have to be in an area where we are constantly moving so if you're tenured in your business in selling and the question then is, are you mentally prepared to make any transitions that you have to make within the, uh, the ever-changing landscapes of our business and our marketplace? And so the questions are, what changes do you need to keep up with in current conditions? And what changes will you need to be prepared for when the market may shift, if it ever does? Okay, When do you plan on making these changes or get these adjustments in place? Are you going to make them first or are you going to wait until it happens and say, oh man, I wish I should have or I could have, but I didn't. Let me try to catch up now when it's become, but it becomes real challenging if the market goes on a decline and you're not fully prepared for that, then you have to take some time and it costs you money, it costs you time to get prepared. And so what habits do you have to change now to be prepared? What habits, uh, what, what, what habits are you going to work on in your business to make things consistently good when the market is in a decline or changing space. Okay, keep in mind, keep in mind, guys, that we're not in that kind of a market now. And will it happen? I frankly don't know. Cyclically, I can tell you, potentially yes, 
but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen. We're going through some different changes than we have in the past and the way things are moving because of economic and governmental decisions that are going on. Like it or not, they are happening at a different level than they have probably ever have in history or at least close to history. So we just don't know at this point. But we know that it's going well, so I'm going to simply say this. While, while the grass is growing, make sure that you're keeping that, sh that blade sharp so you need to keep, it, uh, keep cutting it. Now, I don't know, guys, if you're new in your business or if you're a veteran in your business. And I don't know if you're going, doing extremely well in your business or your production is low. What I do know is that keeping up in your business in terms of your skills, keeping them sharp, it'll help us to adjust to these changes and how to build your business, how to build your, your, your client base, how to maintain strong relationships and have greater attitudes as we move forward. So vo focusing daily, some solutions are to continually focus daily what we call learning time, okay? You just can't do it by experience or you just can't do it by role playing. You gotta do both. But you got to do both at higher levels than you may be currently doing it. I'll always tell my clients, if you're doing 30 minutes of practice, jump it up to an hour, up to two hours a day in practice. You're going to always be it because you're not always meeting with clients. And when you do get that meeting, then you're prepared, at least because you're at least at the minimally practicing. But you got to develop your skills consistently. It's part of what we do in our business, especially if we are in selling. And honestly, guys... We are all in sales, okay? I don't care if you're a parent. I don't care if you're running a real estate business. I don't care if you're running IBM. You got, you're in sales at the end of the day. And you got to be focused on making sure that your skills and your presentations and your lead generation and your closing abilities, all of the elements within your business are on, uh, you're, you're in t on top of that. In addition to that, practicing those skills, your communication skills between you and your teams, your offices, your customers, your affiliates, your prospects, and the public in general. Your ability to be aggressive with a big smile on your face is what separates you from your competition in markets that are moving forward. Oh, you should be really happy, right? What is that going to be like when the markets go down? Are you going to maintain that smile? I hope so, because it's important that you do do that. At the end of the day, guys, we have to be in a place where we are, again, fully, fully prepared for all of these things that are going to change. And when they do, and if they don't, listen, let's, let's bask in our glory at the end of the day. So as I wind this today up, I'm going to keep this uh, shorter today than normal, obviously. But uh, when, when, as I wind this up, I need you to take a serious look at all of the elements within your business. And what areas at the highest level do you need to work on now while continuing to work on all of the areas every day? Your habits, your disciplines, your skill sets. What are those within the framework of your business? If you're in sales, we know the simple part of that is having a plan, going out there and practicing, prospecting lead generation, doing some qualifying, doing some lead follow-up, um, doing some presentations, negotiating contracts, uh, the list goes on. Customer service. Where are you in all of these areas that you are part, that are integral part of your business that's going to help you to be successful? Each industry that might be listening to this call might be a bit different, but when fundamentally it comes down to selling, we just have to, un we, we understand that there are some, fun some of the fundamentals as you heard me talk about in the past. My goal today, guys, is to making, sh to, is to make sure that you are fully prepared always fully prepared always so that way you don't worry about that market when it does change yeah will it be uh, difficult when the market shifts especially if it's a radical shift did you got to be adjusted you got to continually work on your mindset the answer is probably yeah but at the end of the day because you're doing these things now while the while the while the sun is shining Okay, and when it, and it when or if it does occur, you're more prepared than your competitors. And at the end of the day, I remember when the market, when we were in the banking and, and uh, real estate business in the early 2000s or the mid 2000s, if you will, uh, when the market took a hit, the people that were 
trained, the people that were skilled, the people that had the strong disciplines. They weren't just relishing in the fact that everybody says, where do I sign? I have a blood pressure that I can get a loan. They weren't relishing in that. They took advantage of it without question. We all did. I got to admit that. But at the end of the day, I knew when the market shifted at a radical way that it did, the people that rose to the top and stayed within the business, they're the ones who were going through these steps today that I'm talking about. Very, very important. Maintaining consistently. Don't get caught in your glory. Oh, man, I made a big sale and I got a lot of money coming in. Man, I must be good at what I do. Good. Pat yourself on the back and get back to work on developing your habits, your skills, your momentum, keeping your mindset strong, talking to good people. Always don't get caught up in the in the luster of all of these fancy things. Keep fundamental. Do your job every day. Keep your skills sharp. Be happy. Have fun. Work hard and do those things. And when that market changes, if it ever does, you are more prepared than 98% of everybody else, I can guarantee it. And you're not going to say, well, I got to go get a regular job, if there are any to be had. And if you need to go get a regular job, at least you're more prepared than the guy or the gal next to you, simply because you have worked on your skills day in and day out, and people want to work with that. All right? So go make it a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. The offer is still open for this week, realprofitbuilders.com. If you want to get to my academy and you want to get some fundamental and more powerful ideas, reach out to me, Mike and Mike Cousins. Say, Mike, let me in, please. No cost, no obligation. Great opportunity for you to take advantage. So send me your email. Send me your uh, just request in the subject line, Mike, let me in, whatever it takes. And I'll make sure that I make that happen for you. All right, that's it. Go make it a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow.